Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Today we're going to be reviewing the 2001 Carbon Fiber and why I'm going to tell you that this is an absolute sh pack, but I like it. <laughs> I like this pack and I'll tell you why in a bit. But obviously, aside from reviewing the pack, I'm also going to be just talking about all the cards you can get in the general terms outside of the finals. We're also going to talk about the final track set and what is the best possible hand to make. That being said, let's get into it. Here are the track sets for the finals. So, track set number one is Car Park Slalom Test, Indoor Karting, Quarter Mile, and Karting Circuit, Four Twisty, One Fast Wet. Uh, second is Mountain Slalom, G-Force, 30 to 130, Monaco G-Force, and Monaco City Streets. So that's one hybrid wet, three twisty, one fast. Uh, the third track set is Monaco City Streets, Twisty Circuit, Fast Circuit, Karting Circuit, Monaco Hairpin, which is one hybrid, four twisty, no fast. And the last one is Monaco Narrow Streets, Quarter Mile, Monaco City Streets, Half Mile, and Monaco Hairpin, uh, which is three twist, uh, two twisty, one hybrid, one of the twisties is wet, and two drags. Basically, what you want in this finals is one fast, one hybrid. Um, no, you you want one fast, two hybrid, but one of the hybrid has to be uh, four-wheel drive, not standard. I'll talk about that in a bit, and two twisties. That's basically what you want to go in with. And before I review the pack, I need to talk about a misconception that I feel like a lot of players are having right now, okay? I've had a lot of DMs from players saying, oh, Blossom, I have like, I don't know, one of the legendaries and like four key ultras. I think I might have a decent chance at these finals. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I have to give you a huge slice of reality here. I've had a lot of people DM me about this. If you are one of those players who might have a legendary or a max epic, just one, and then three or four key ultras, I'm sorry. Your Jaguar XKR is not going to help you in the final. The Tamora is not going to help you in the final okay because here's the thing the only time when um, you can use ultras in a final is when the standard goes down and I'm not, not not saying standard of the game or the final itself I'm saying the standard of the competition you need the sharks to not care about the final aka you need the sharks to not open packs for you to have a chance because then they won't be opening packs they'll just be using what they have that's when the level of competition goes down a bit and that's when ultra rares start bleeding into hands and you know starting to make things work to win the prize car in this case it isn't i know a lot of people are saying that you know the cars in this pack is trash nobody wants to open the pack so you know you might win it with ultra rares no that's not the case okay that only happens when the pack is shit and the prize car is shit okay because even though in this situation the carbon fiber is bad the carpool uh in 2001 is bad the prize car is enough of an incentive for sharks to open 15 carbon fibers you know and i'll be posting that in a bit because i actually did open all 15 carbon fibers on someone else's account and i'll be posting that on youtube probably after this video goes live um but you know because this prize car is so good the incentive is there you know sharks won't care they will open the 15 cfs even if the pack is bad as long as the prize car is good okay so just because this pack is bad doesn't mean that you have a chance i'm sorry but if you have like three ultra rares and one legendary you have no chance at the at the legendary i swear unless you're in the eu servers everybody knows the eu servers are a joke they're so easy over there um, but anyway let's get into it i'm gonna click play after that slice of reality uh 2001 non price cars open the filter and let's go to all cars and let's just review this pack now first of all i'm gonna start off the ultra rares and i'm going to be judging them in a general standpoint all right i think i've already made myself clear none of these ultra rares are going to help you in the final this is a very straightforward final where the best five cars are the top five cars in most regards uh, maybe that porsche gt2 but anyway let me talk about the ultra rares i'm going to be judging this in a general sense so outside of the finals how useful these cars are in clubs in just your normal multiplayer events you know how cars how good are they to be in your garage? So, first of all, eight ultra rares. Only eight ultra rares you can get from the 2001 Carbon Fiber. Starting from the Ford Escape all the way to the Jaguar XKRR. Now, I've already made myself clear, right? 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 None of these are going to help you in the Tri-Series. I'm sorry. Okay, you might get away with one, maybe. But if you have more than one, I'm sorry. You're not going to win the Jaguar XGR with more than one ultra rare. One is a maybe. Um, but anyway, let me judge them in a general standpoint outside of the finals okay because these are some actually really good ultra rares from these eight i would say five are actually great 
Eight. Great. Haha. <laughs> um, what are the five you might be thinking? The first one is the Jaguar X Type. Four wheel drive standard tire car and medium ground clearance. That is the kind of car that you always want to have in your garage. Whether it be the X Type, whether it be the BMW 540D, whether it be the Cadillac Citadel, no, sorry, the Chrysler Citadel or the Cadillac CTS Coupe. All right. You want four wheel drive standard tire and medium ground clearance cars in your garage. The Jaguar X Type is exactly that. And for that reason alone, you want to have it in your garage, especially if you play clubs that car is huge second one opal corsa it's the best front wheel drive off-road car in the game it's also a blossom choice number one now we have blossom choice number two there are two blossom choices in this pack second one tvr tamora it is the best outro quarter mile and half mile dragster the best quarter mile and half mile dragster i'm not even exaggerating it is the best quarter mile and half mile ultra rare dragster so tamora uh, Corsa, X-Type, all fantastic. Powerbox, I'm putting it in there. It recently got a buff of the hill climb boost. And also, once again, it's probably going to get off-road tires. However, the whole Pescarolo thing and how Hutch is tr slowly making the game less realistic, it makes me think that they might never add off-road tires in here. But I'm adding the Powerbox in here still. I still have a little bit of hope that it will get off-road tires because once again, literally look at the picture. Those are off-road tires. Let's be 100% real here. So if that gets off-road tires, the power box will be fantastic. But even without um, off-road tires right now, as it is with that hill climb boost, it's actually not that bad because it handles pretty well. I mean, it handles the same as the Escape, but it's like, what, two seconds faster than 60. Uh, last but not least is the Jag XKR R. This is a fantastic all-rounder. I think it's like 383792, something like that. I think it's 3892. Fantastic all-rounder, RQ64 club great ultra rare to use for the fast circuit for the hairpin road it's okay for the quarter mile as well but why would you use it for the quarter mile when the tomorrow exists you know what i mean they're also both british and they are both the same year i digress these five ultras are really good the vanquish is decent it's like the roof btr for british cars but like i said you know it's like if you don't if you if you have the Roof BTR, why do you need the Vanquish? So for that reason alone, I'm not putting the Vanquish in the amazing ultra rare category, which is a bit counterintuitive because I'm really putting the power box in here because I'm judging the power box on it getting off-road tires in the future. But technically, even if you wanted to kick the power box out, it's still four amazing ultra rares out of eight. That's 50%. Now we've learned this from recent packs I've reviewed in the past, 50% is high. 50% is really high, Twenty, because usually when it comes to a pack like this, um, it's like 20%, 30%, you get a good ultra. So 50% is high. That being said though, the Escape is trash, and the M3 Convertible is trash. Those two are like the lowest tier. I think the Escape is like kind of light, so it has that going for it, but the M3 is like the bottom tier, bottom of the bottom tier ultra. This thing is garbage. Fuse on side, I'll never max it out. I hate that thing, okay? And then the Vanquish is kind of just like, Eh, it's good to have one and like that's it but the x type the corsa the tamora the xkr these are all ultra rares i would max in duplicate and if the power box are off road tires that is an ultra rare that i would max in duplicate triplicate triples <laughs> quadruples you know what i mean but like i said even without the off road tires with the recent boost that it got it's actually a decent car but anyway moving on to the epics now yeah there are three in a general sense they're all trash in a general sense, they're all trash. But in the finals, they're all useful, right? Because a maxed out Z06 and a maxed out GT2 are going to beat one star, two star in Porsche 911 Turbo, one star, two star Lamborghini Diablo, and possibly one star, maybe one two one Lamborghini Murcielago. Okay, so these four, these three legendaries here, these four wheel drive legendaries, they're actually really bad on the dry. But you wouldn't be using those three legendaries on the dry. You would be using them on that one wet fast circuit. Now. Hutch made it so blatantly obvious that you need just one. You need just one of these three because all of the wet tracks, there's only one wet track uh, in each of the track sets and each wet track is tailored in a way to fit 
four wheel drive over the standard tire. The X type is useless because when you think about it, it's a wet quarter mile. It's a wet fast circuit. It's a wet Monaco city streets. These are all kind of MRA based, right? And that's what the X type isn't for. The X type would have been great if there was a wet slalom or a wet twisty, but that isn't there. So really you kind of need one of these four wheel drive cars, but only one. So might as well go with the best, right? Which is none of these, it's the roof turbo. So that's the key, but I'm getting ahead of myself right now. We're talking about the epics, all right? We were talking about how the epics were better than those three legendaries. Yes, they are, especially the Corvette and the GT2. You max those two out, they're gonna be legendary killers, at least for the 911 Diablo and Murcielago. The CC8, uh, CC8S and the roof turbo will hold their own, but you know, at least if you pull one of those two epics and you get them maxed out, you would beat three out of the five ep uh, legendary as long as you know we're kind of saying it's a max epic versus a 111 legend or a 121 legend if we're the 911 and the Diablo's case even a 222 I think the epics would beat them on the dry okay but anyway there are four dry track sets there are four dry track sets so basically these are all key the C8 is key it's the second best on the drag after the CC8S because this has 95 MRA you know this has 97 handling and this has like what 95 handling so they're all fantastic for the finals alone but outside of the finals they're trash so it's a little bit of an opposite thing going on here the ultras are going to be useless for the finals but they're amazing outside of the finals the epics are going to be amazing for the finals but useless outside the finals all right now moving on to the legendaries i've already said earlier you kind of only need one four wheel drive legend okay uh and you are already in a good spot if you have any of the four wheel drive legends but i would say that the porsche the diablo and the merchant lago are all not key the roof turbo r is the key because that would just take all the other four-wheel drive cars in this category and send them to Gapplebees, okay? And last but not least, the Koenigsegg CC8S is going to be key as well because that's the best car for the drag. So anyway, what is the perfect hand for this final, you might ask? I would say one roof R turbo, one Koenigsegg CC8S, two 911 GT2s and a Corvette Z06. That is my realistic perfect hand, okay? Because technically you can always say, oh, Blossom, the best hand is actually uh, four Koenigsegg CC8S and one roof turbo. Yes, it would be, but who actually has four eggs and one roof turbo? So in a, I'm, I'm just making it more realistic in a sense of after you open 15 carbon fiber, so not very realistic, but it's more realistic than saying four CC8S and one roof turbo. I would say a really good hand where you would go undefeated is if you have a roof R turbo, a CC8S, two 911 GT2s, and a Corvette Z06. And when you think about it, when you look at what I have, um, yeah. It's not looking good, Chief. But yeah, at the start of the video, I said that I kind of like this pack, although it was trash. And there's only one reason why I'm saying this. If you guys know me, you know I love the 996 Gen Porsche. You know I love the fried egg headlights. So for that reason alone, in this 2001 carbon fiber pack, I can get three cars with fried egg headlights. I can get the 911 Turbo, the 911 GT2, and the Roof R Turbo. And for that reason alone, literally the most stupid reason to why Blossom likes this pack is because he likes fried egg headlights. Seriously, 996 is my favorite generation of 911, even over the G series. I know, a shocker. That being said though, I'm gonna be real with you guys, it's a bad pack. So let me give you my verdict. 2001 Carbon Fiber, let's dig into it. Should you open it? Absolutely not. Especially if you're one of those that DM'd me saying that you have one legend and four key ultras, you are not close to getting the jag. You need to open all 15 and hope that you pull at least four epics to help that legend, okay? But if you are really close already, if you already, and this is rare, because not a lot of players have a good foundation going into this final, and Hutch did it on purpose, because this is a big prize card and they want people to pay, right? Um, but um, if you do have a good foundation, if you have four epics already and you just need like a legend or something, then yeah, go for it. Or, of course, if you really want the jag, if your name is Reese, if your name is Zambong, then yeah, you would open all 15. But let's be honest, you probably would have opened all 15 already. Actually, Ambon has already opened all 15, because I opened all 15 for him. That video will be posted tomorrow. Anyway, that being said though, yeah, don't open it. It's a bad pack. It's a really bad pack. The ultra rares are actually decent, okay? Um, you know, it's a 50% chance, but 
the epics are trash, the legendaries are trash. If you just want to get a good ultra rare, to be completely honest with you, this pack isn't bad. Like, let's say you don't care about the finals, you just want to get a decent ultra rare, this pack isn't bad, because you can get the Tamor, you can get the Opal Corsa, uh, those are great. Uh, but anyway, to me, will I open this pack? As you can see, well, I already have, because there's 14 left. I opened one off camera. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I got a forward escape. It was trash. Um, but will I open one more? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would open one more, because I'm crazy like that. Because once again, I play all the clubs, I like the ultra rares, and I like the Friday headlights. So let's just go for it. Let's open one anyway. I'm going to end the video of opening one of these. It's, 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 a, it's a shocker of a final, though. I have to say, 2001 finals... Oh my god, that, it, it, it's bad. But anyway, let's see what we get from this. Just don't give me a Ford Escape. If not, I'll, if I get a Ford Escape, I'll end the video without even giving an outro. You know what? I'd rather have a Ford Escape over this. This was trash. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Good luck to you in the finals. Peace.